Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a useful tool I've been using as a prototyping tool for the Tiki30 using some software called SimLab VR and SimLab Composer. I've connected the Fusion 360 model of the Tiki30 to a full-scale VR model. I've been using this model to view uh, on my computer with the Samsung Odyssey Plus Windows Mixed Reality headset. Using this program, I've noticed a few discrepancies between the model and the actual Tiki30, which I'll point out in the video. I've noticed the angle of entry for the rounded hull hatches make it difficult to enter the boat in a non-awkward manner. So doing this has been a very useful venture, and I'll be able to fix any design issues and have the ability to play around with all sorts of configuration options with the boat before building it. So here we are on the starboard bow of the boat. Looking aft, we can see the sail and the deck pod. It's going to jump over to the mast now. As you can see in VR, it looks quite big, uh, so I'm going to have to resize it. I'm going to use the measuring tool now to show you that. So it's about a quarter of a meter, nearly a foot, so that's pretty unrealistic for what it would be in reality. I'm going to go over to the cockpit now where we can see the scale model person. As you can see, they're about the same height as me. So this is the deck pod where we'll have the winches set up. They're about at uh, elbow height, which is perfect. I'm going to go inside the deck pod. So I'm sitting on the ground in real life right now, and uh, it feels pretty comfortable, maybe a little bit short. I, I Ideally, I would like something where I can sit facing forward instead of sideways, so I could see out all these windows. Speaking of which, the view out of the windows in the deck pod is really nice. I'm going to pop out now. I'm going to go onto the solar panel, so you can see a cool view from the back of the boat. The measuring tool in this program is pretty useful, as you can see uh, the mast, that's about 9 meters in this model. I'm going to look at the scale person, they're about 1.75 meters. Mm -hmm. And then looking at the dinghy, that's about 2.4 meters or 8 feet. I'm going to go look at the solar panel I've modeled up. It's about 1 meter wide by 1.8 meter long. So we're going to go into the starboard hull now. This is what it looks like standing under the hatch. 
looks like it would be fine to climb out of, but uh, looking from the outside, it's near impossible to climb into. So we're going to have to change the angle on that. And I'm going to sit in the bed now. As you can see, there's there's some scaling issues with the beds I've found. They're about one-third too narrow. And uh, so they should be higher up in the model. And the hulls are also a little bit too short as well. So it would be about this height sitting over the bed, but the bed would be higher up if that makes any sense. So it would be less claustrophobic in reality. This is where you'd be sitting to go to the toilet. So sitting outside in the cockpit here, we get a, uh, a really nice view of uh, what it would be like when sitting down to sail. I'm able to see what kind of visibility I would have with the boat, with the configuration I have, and it looks like you can see pretty good all around you. So we're going to step inside the port hull now. After a quick view in the center of the cockpit. Looking in the port hull, you can see what the window looks like underneath the hatch. It's pretty good. Nice big windows are nice to have to keep yourself from being claustrophobic. At the, uh, at the back of the boat here is where the kitchen would be. Most of the time spent in the hulls is going to be spent sitting down. Really only the point of the, uh, the rounded hatch for standing room is to get in and out of the hull easily and have a quick look around when you're at sea. So the berths in this model are about 0.6 meters by 1.66 meters. Um, the berth will go all the way to the bulkhead, but that's going to be a sliding seat. And uh, it's actually going to be about 1 meter in diameter in reality. They're about uh, the size of a twin size bed. So this is the view sitting down from this berth. Nice big window. We're going to pop over into the forward berth on the port hull. As you can see, this is a really tiny berth. be quite uncomfortable here. I'd really only use this berth uh, when at anchor for an extra berth for sleeping capability. It's pretty claustrophobic, and the forward section would be pretty unsafe when underway, so it will mo mostly be used for storage, and one of them will always be used for storage. This is what it looks like if you're standing out of that hatch. So I'm going to show a few measurements of the beams now for reference. The boat really feels quite large in VR, and it's about exactly how I expected it to feel. Aside from the beds being narrow, I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope you all enjoyed and have a great day. I should have a neat video up about a 3D printed garden I made today, so please check that out if you have a chance.